Hi there, my name is John Miller and I'm an instructor of medicine in the Division of Rheumatology. So rheumatology is, is a clinician's dream. The history and physical are still the most important um, aspect of diagnosis. The labs, the imaging, they're helpful in supporting what we, what we learn through conversation with a patient, but the small details can go a long way to help solve what is causing a patient's pain or disability. One of the benefits of working for Johns Hopkins Rheumatology is that we set aside plenty of time to review these small details. I also enjoy working with patients who don't quite fit a diagnosis. We have classification for cr criteria for most of our diseases, but when the immune system gets activated, it often doesn't read the textbook. The time we spend digging through the history and the physical often allows us to identify these atypical presentations and help us move forward with, with treatment. I think this is a great time to be in rheumatology. We're learning so much about the immune system, the microbiome, and reactions to other environmental triggers. Tests that used to cost us thousands of dollars are becoming quick and affordable. Uh, as I mentioned, we often see patients who don't quite fit into classification criteria, but clearly have an autoimmune condition that's grumbling along. The clues we're learning about the immune system are helping us develop new treatment strategies and allowing us to bring the lab into clinic on a regular basis. I'm particularly interested in patients with inflammatory arthritis who do not make antibodies to the traditional targets, such as rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP antibodies. This is known as seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. And prospective data has shown us that these patients often have early active and erosive disease. The differences that we see in demographics and risk factors in this group also suggest that the pathophysiology of the disease is different. We are working to further understand the mechanisms that may, may help explain what is driving this type of arthritis, and this may give us more information about um, prognosis and treatment down the line.